Hello friends, welcome to video series on geography. My name is Manjunath. In my previous video, I explained about divergent plate boundary. We have seen the detail about African Rift Valley. In this video, I'll be explaining about convergent boundary. And the notes for this is available on my blog, poormanfriend.org. Take a look at it. So these are the previous videos I've already explained. And in my previous video, I explained in detail about African Rift System. That is, which is an example for divergent boundary. In this video, we'll see about convergent plate boundary, which gives rise to fold mountains and various important islands. So we'll see that all in detail. So this is all. This is nothing but the concept tecto tectonics and orogeny. Orogeny is nothing but the formation of mountains. Other than this, there is formation of block mountains. And in African Rift System, we have seen about hosts and gravens. They are nothing but block mountains about that i'll be explaining in some detail in the uh, in the later video but for now we'll see about convergent plate boundary or fold mountain system and the formation of various islands so first let us take a look at a uh, few questions asked from these concerned topics explain the formation of thousands of islands in indonesian and philippine in archipelagos and then explain about the distribution of world's fold mountain system so these are the questions which came in previous mains from this section so first, let us take a look at different important mountains which are present all across the globe. Few important ones, highly concerned for India are Himalayas. And then we have important mountain ranges like Andes which are part of South America. And then we have Rockies which are part of North America. And then there are other important mountains like Central Asian mountains, Atalai mountains. And then we have Thayan Shan, sorry Thayan Shan, and then Kunlun Shan which are just bordering Tibetan plateau. Other than that, we have Hindu Kush ranges and then we have Pami Notch, Tirtar and other ranges. In Australia, we have Great Eastern Ridge. These are the very important mountains of Australia. And we have another mountain system called as Urals, which are famous for their mineral resources. And then we have Celadonian mountains in which Appalachians are the major formations. Other than Appalachians, we have the mountains of Norway and Sweden, which are part of Celadonian mountains. Celadonian mountains are the mountains which are very old, uh, very old mountains, which formed about 300 to 320 million years ago. And then we have Alps. Alps and Himalayas are example for Alpine mountain system because they are of rec very recent origin, whereas Himalayas are much recent, which are only about 30 to 40 million years old. And other than that, we have mountains like Atlas Mountains. And then there are a few mountains, including the mountains that that are part of Iran and then Anatolian plateau of Turkey. And then there are mountains all across along the Mediterranean, which are also example for different kind of fold mountains, especially. So in this section, we are dealing only about fold mountains. So all these are important fold mountains. So we not, will not study about everything in detail, but the most important ones are Rockies, Andes, Himalayas, Alps, Atlas and then Urals. So we'll see only about these under the respective headings. So we know that there are three kinds of interaction between plates. One is divergent. The best example is African Rift Valley. And the other one is convergence about which we'll be talking today. And then we have transform plate boundary where two plates grind against each other giving rise to a deformed landform. There is no either creation or destruction of landform like in the other case. Where in convergent boundary we have destruction of landform, whereas in divergent boundary we have convergence of uh, sorry construction of landform or formation of landform. So the divergent edge is important when it comes to interaction of plates in oceans. And one minor and very important example is African Rift Valley. But whereas the convergent plate is very important when we deal about both fold mountains as well as islands. Whereas transform edge has only few landforms all across the globe, so not so important. We'll not see about this in detail. So we have discussed about divergent plate boundary, and then we have seen the formation of African Rift Valley, in which the first stage is called as upper wrapping, and then we have the formation of rift, and then a linear sea, and then we have the formation of mighty oceans. So this is African Rift system. Just a quick re recap of the previous video. And then this is transform plate boundary. The best example is San Andreas Fault in North America. So this is the San Andreas Fault. There is just a tiny deformation along this line. 
not an important one because there are only few landforms so this type is not important whereas this example is important because this is the very important example for this kind of fault so now let us directly move on to convergent plate boundary so this is how a convergent plate boundary look when there is interaction between oceanic plates especially the most important feature is the formation of trenches so this is the trench along the line this is Aleutian trench and we have a Kuril trench and then Japanese trench sorry this is Kuril trench this is Aleutian trench and Jap Japanese trench etc so there are different kinds of interaction between convergent plates there, there are different plates involved in the convergent plate boundary so we'll see all in detail so the first one is ocean ocean convergence and we have ocean continent convergence so the, the best example for ocean ocean convergence is the formation of Japanese islands, Philippine archipelago and Indonesian islands. So this is the question that was asked in previous mains. And then we have ocean continent convergence. The best example is formation of Rockies and Ains. And after that we have continent continent convergence. The best example for this is Ural Mountains. Another good example is Himalayan Mountains. But there is significant difference between the formation of both Himalayas and Urals though they are both kind of continent continent convergence type mountains and then we have continent arc convergence this is very rare one this is example for the formation of new guinea islands which are to the north of australia so coming to interaction first one is collision of ocean ocean plates so the best example is here this is collision of ocean ocean plates giving rise to an island chain which is called as arc which are called as arc islands so examples are Philippines, uh, Japan, and Japan and Indonesian islands. Other than that, we have continent a collision of continent and oceanic plates. So this is the example for continent and oceanic plate interactions. So this is example for formation of Rockies and Indies. And then the next one is a continent continental plate. So this one, the formation of Urals is the best example. And then we have collision of continent and arc, which is quite similar to ocean continent conver uh, sorry uh, con ocean ocean convergence that is ocean ocean convergence except the difference is instead of the oceanic plate we have a con this plate would be a continental plate so during this process there is some certain important type of platforms which are formed during each of this process for example between the collision of oceanic plates the very important landform is trenching so let us hope that this is an oceanic plate and this is a continental plate sorry another oceanic plate the denser one plunges below the lighter ones create giving rise to a trench trench is a deep and narrow depression so this is happens in ocean ocean collision and then coming to the continent collision of continent and oceanic plates same way we have trenching at the same time the continental plate up thrusts up thrusts above the oceanic plate that is it slides above the oceanic plate which gives us to raise form of landforms that is how rockies and indies are created and again due to compressive forces there is folding that is wave like structure which is formed this is called this is also due to this kind of interaction and then we have continent continent convergence the third one in which again there is formation of trench but the trench formation becomes less significant because it gets submerged under the fold mountain system and there is up thrust other one the block the lighter one which is placed above the uh, much denser one giving rise to again fold kind of uh, uh, mountain system and the other one is uh, ocean uh, collision of continent and arc this system is a little complex we'll see that with a picture later so now moving on to ocean ocean convergence or island arc convergence so before studying this the questions you can ex expect expect is the formation of japanese islands the formation of indonesian and archipelago arch and Indonesian archipelago etc which were already asked and again Caribbean islands are also formed the, due to the same kind of processes so they can be a question where you, you would be expected to write a combined answer for all these processes whereas they can be a single question in each of islands but as already a pre previously as a question were asked so this, this time or next time the question can be in a different form but the core conceptual concepts will be the same so there is no point in studying various concepts uh, or digging it for these concepts because the concepts will be same the way or the nature of questions will slightly vary that's it so one question can be asked in different forms so the same question will be put up in another another way or another level in the next exams that's all but the concept remains same 
so in ocean ocean convergence the first important is subduction of denser oceanic plate we see that there is a movement of two oceanic plates towards each other and the denser plate plunges below the lighter plate giving rise to subduction zone this whole zone is called a subduction zone this subduction zone creates huge amount of pressure and creates huge amount of temperature due to the filling up of less amount of space by both ocean these both the plates so this all the rocks in this region will undergo metamorphosis along with the rocks of the continental uh, oceanic plate so all the rocks which got metamorphosed that is which are now in the form of magma tries to escape to the surface seeking a very uh, narrow or a weak spot so when they find one they simply come out the magma flows out and gives rise to volcanic mountains usually the magma that flows this kind of in this kind of interaction is acidic in nature that's why it creates volcano Re, um, <coughs> volcanic mountains which are of steep slopes that is high volcanic mountains they don't create shield kind of volcanic mountains for example they are not in the form of uh, Ethiopian islands or uh, Deccan Plateau etc they are like in the form of Fukushi, uh, Fukushima mountain volcanic mountain of Japan they are very tall due to successive building up of mountain due to volcanic eruptions so the best exa example is the formation of islands of Philippines, etc. We'll see in this picture. So, while writing there, <coughs> while writing about the formation of different kinds of islands, the first important point are the plates which are involved in these processes. So, we need to know, for example, which plates are involved in the formation of Japan. Usually, we'll see that in the next picture. But for now, we'll see about Philippines and Indonesian islands. So, during the formation of Philippine islands, the first important plate is Philippine Sea Plate. This is oceanic plate. It's a minor plate. The other important plate is Eurasian continental plate and its continental shelf is very extensive and this extended part of continental uh, shelf is called as Sunda plate. What we see in this white frame is called as Sunda plate. It is nothing but the continental shelf of Eurasia. So you can, you can just simply call it as Eurasian continental shelf. So when it comes to the formation of Indonesian islands, it was mainly formed due to the interaction of Indo-Australian oceanic plate and the Eurasian continental plate though this plate appears to be in the part of sea but still it's a it's a part of continental shelf of Eurasia so you can consider it as a continental plate so during this interaction we have seen as in the picture there is form of formation of island arcs and as this process continues for millions of years there is exten extension or expansion of these island arcs giving rise to huge chain of volcan uh, volcanic islands as we can see in the case of Indonesian archipelago Likewise, in the Philippine archipelago, here the creation of Philippines is mainly due to interaction between Philippine plate and Eurasian plate. When we come to Japan, so you can see the different kind of plates, Sunda plate, Philippine plate, etc. Coming to the formation of Japan, the formation of Japan is a little different compared to the uh, formation of Philippine and Indi Indonesian archipelago. The difference is that here the interaction is between three plates. One is Philippine continent uh, oceanic plate. The other one is Pacific Oceanic Plate. The other one is Eurasian Continental Plate. So during this interaction, we can see where trenching happens. The, the most important point uh, during the formation of this kind of islands is the trenching. Very important point. So we can see where trenching happens, where the island arc formation is uh, there. So where il island arc formation is present, we see the formation of Japanese islands. And then where the plates, denser plates subducts, we see trenching. So this is one kind of trench. The name of the trench and we have Japan Japanese trench which is formed due to the subduction of uh, Pacific Oceanic plate below Eurasian continental plate and the formation of Japan is a little bit different as the interaction of plate not only created the uh, Japan but it also created Japanese sea that is Japan was a part of Eurasian Eurasian continent few millions of years ago but during this interact interaction process they, it gave rise to a linear sea which is called as Japanese sea so here Japanese islands formation is, on, is not only about formation of islands of Japan but also formation of Japanese sea so we need not go in much detail about this this is more than enough